Hello learners, welcome to the NIS studio, myself Ravikant, Associate Professor, School of Education, Central University of South Bihar, Gaya and I am Academic Coordinator for the course code 510. Today we are going to discuss the entire structure of course code 510. Course code 510 consisting 4 credits, 0 3 credits for theoretical knowledge and 1 credit for practical knowledge. This course code consisting 2 block, block 1 is understanding of science and block 2 is managing and measuring science learning. Block 1 consisting 4 units, there are 4 units in block 1, unit number 1 is nature of science, unit number 2 scientific inquiry, unit 3 different approaches to teaching science, unit 4 hands on experiences, role and importance. Block 2 consisting 3 units, unit number 5 planning and managing science education and upper primary level, unit 6 assessment and evaluation and related issues. Unit 7 challenges and issues in science teaching. So, that there are 2 uh, blocks and uh, total 7 units. Now, the objectives of course 510. Number 1, nurture the natural curiosity of the child about the world. Next one is reaching scientific concepts through the medium of experiences and discussions. Next one is understanding the importance of science in daily life. Next one is developing the child critical ability. Next objectives is integrating students with the various aspects of the nature of science. Next one is to help a student select and use appropriate teaching, learning and assessment strategies. And the last one is that to enable students to view science as a, an inclusive and democratic enterprise. Now, how we can achieve the objectives? The process to achieve the objectives of course code 510 is number one is mutual discussions. Next one is conducting various competitions, observing science centers and exhibitions. Next one is creating an entity plan based on concept mapping. Next one is learning through experiments, etc. Now, detailed structure of the units. Unit 1 consists of the following main topics. Number 1 is history and philosophy of science, ancient, medieval and modern period, philosophy of science. Next topic is what is science, definitions and general characteristics, nature of science, process of science. Next topic is scientific thinking, using empirical evidences, practicing logical reasoning and possessing a skeptical attitude about the pre-assumed knowledge. Next one is scientific methods, what is scientific method, steps involved in a scientific method and scientific attitude. Unit number 2, the scientific inquiry. The main topic is of the unit 2 is the concept of scientific inquiry, forms of scientific raising questions for inquiry, hypothesizes to get directions, predicting the getting directions for observations, observing for collecting information and searching for patterns and relationship. Now, the remaining part of is devising and planning inquiry, designing and making equipments. Next one is measuring and calculating. Next one is participating and com communicating. And the next one is self reflection and self actualization. And the last one is inquiry in personal life. Now, unit number three different approaches of teaching science. Following us, the main topic to study in the course code 510 methodology of teaching. Next one is different approaches with examples, transmissions or expository approach, process or inquiry approach and discovery approach. Now, unit number 4, hands on experience, role and importance. The topic to be covered in this unit number 4 is role of first hand experience in children's learning, types of investigation in class and out of school. Next one is organizing practical work and the last one is safety measures in and out of the school. Now, unit number 5. Planning and managing science, education and upper primary level. This unit consists these topics. Number one is overview of planning. Next one is planning and curriculum coverage in science. Next one is planning at class level, lesson plan. Next one is identifying and using various resources at a school level, local level, non-electronic and electronic material. And next one is recording and reporting. Now, unit number six, assessment and evaluation and related issue. The point number one is assessment, what, how and why concept of evaluation, objectives and specifications, types of evaluation, internal assessment. The next topic is continuous and comprehensive evaluation in science. Next topic is using assessment to help learning in science, identifying hard spots, undergoing remedial learning. Next point is evaluating cognitive, affective and psychometric domain. And the last one is structuring assessment of children, ideas, skills and attitudes. Now unit number seven, challenges and issues in science. This unit will cover the, the following topics. Number one is science for all, next one is teaching different abilities and the last one is knowing achievement in science and teaching science. Then dear learners, this is the outline of the course code 510 and uh, I am expecting that uh, with your coordination we will complete this study with full enthusiasm. Thank you very much.